You got now. You say my name, Kate. One. Eat kangaroo. <laughs> Alright, gonna start the Archfield video off this way. We're not even at Archfield, we're at Eastern Creek, so just coming off three rain outs here. And yeah, the track doesn't look too bad. It's a little soft in some spots, but it seems very workable. But um, like, I have the equipment to do it. I'm not 100% sure on the decision. It might have been a financial decision, which is fair enough. Um, it's a lot of money to put on a Sunday night and to try to recruit the cost. But um, anyway, we'll get up the road. I was really looking forward to getting around here in a wing car, but um, we'll get up the road to uh, Archerfield. I've had good success there um, in modifieds, and look, it looks on a pretty right rear down sort of track, so I think it would feel pretty similar in the sprint car too. Just stuff's happening a bit faster. So I thank DK enough for dragging me up the road with my chase and all that. So we're getting solid, we just need laps. Um, News Day obviously was a bit of a bummer with not getting many laps to the end but i've put my power steering gears in it now uh, gear in it now so should be hopefully good i've never been so lost in my life with power steering problems <laughs> yeah just really bizarre things i've never experienced which that's why we race this when we learn um yeah let's get up and down the highway say bye to eastern creek this season Hopefully I don't get bold in my group, but I don't know how good I'll be here. So uh, anyway, we'll um, just go out and fill the track out. Uh, we'll go in the modified here, one, uh, one our last race, second last race here. And I just feel comfortable around here. So um, yeah, let's um, just see how it goes and hopefully we get all the cameras working this tonight. Yeah. All right, so in group five, um, track's really snowy right now. Chase is just out there. So they were doing 13.5s and usually really good this year, so hopefully it comes to be better for us, but I don't mind something a bit slow to start as never on you before the break this thing. Yeah. Just waiting to see how it goes. Always nervous going in. Wet? Mid-track? Well, like not wet. It's, no, like it's fast. Oh, okay. Mid-track? What? You need to be about mid-track?
sweep through the one-two turn. Down underneath the Capalabar Wreckers side. Into the three-four, gets the car a little upset on the entry. Hobson on the top with a 12591. Jack Bell goes to the top with a 12587, but it's Carly Rap out. 12495, she'll lead the first lap. 12495 over Jack Bell, Todd Hobson and Nathan Pronger. Jack Bell now back on the top with a 12479. Upheld bounces back with a 12468. Hobson and Pronger sorting out third and fourth, but it's upheld at the moment. Jack Bell now goes back to the top with a 12342. Tony Rappel doing a great job getting quicker. 12435. One more throw of the dice next time. Buy white flags out. A pelt goes no quicker this time. 12 4 35. It's still Jack Bell on the top. 12 2 69 for Jack Bell. One more throw of the dice for Carlia. She goes 12 4 35. Stay second quick. But ladies and gentlemen, quick time in the flight. Put your hands together for Jack Bell. 12 2 69 if you're writing that in your program. Talia Appelt with a 12.435, Todd Hobson with a 12.579, and 12.849 for Nathan Pronger. Alrighty, so we just got a crap pill. We got a crap group. Hate to say it. Um, so what you get when you're new around here and you're not American superstar like old young Chase over there. And I didn't get one clean lap in. I couldn't get a rhythm. I couldn't do anything, but. That's how the cookie crumbles. We're just going to do with the cars we dealt and have a crack with crack in the heat race. We've got a great race car. Heat race number two, Brooke, sorry, Brock Hallett in the Q5 will lead him away. The uh, T77 of Brooke Tatnell will share that front row. The USA1 of Justin Sanders will come out of three, and the Q17 of Luke Oldfield will share the second row. The Q83 of Steve Lyons out of five, and the N57 of Matt Dumsney out of six. Out of position seven, the QSS Q16 of Jack Bell. He'll share the fourth row with the Morgan Metal Corp number Q54 of Randy Morgan. In behind him will be the Q10 of Adam Butler with the Q97 of Talia Rappelt and the back row will be Todd Hobson and Nathan Pronger. The five-time national champion, oh, Tatnall, gets the kiss on the outside to squeeze the pedal one more time. It's Oldfield on the outside of Helen as they dive down into the one-two turn. They're smoke Trev yeah not sure where that's coming from it's definitely not the catch tank I don't know whether that's uh, kicked the leg out of bed or spat the filter but certainly uh, not a good sign for the uh, number 96 of Brady Hobson out of Victoria Trot. just watching the replay there for Speedway Australia TV and uh, Puff and Billy going on by the flag stand there as he heads down into one and two so, yeah. The cool freighters number 96 machine will call it a day in heat race number two, Trev. Todd, yeah. can you get 
there and can start undoing the uh, box cover. You go down and see, check out the grids. Ten laps of journey, we are set to go. Luke Oldfield and Sanders picking up the battle as they have done all summer since Christmas. And it's Oldfield that gets the rider power down to the ground first. He leads away. Sanders on the outside. Trying to get some running room on the 70, but it's not going to work this time by it's Oldfield at the stripe over Sanders, back to Tatnall, let me go back to Steve Lines. Brock Hallett's the next one in the queue, let me go back to Matt Dumsley, Adam Butler, Jack Bell, Todd Hobson, Talia Rappel, Randy Morgan and Nathan Ponger, that's the runners. Great battle between Tatnall and Sanders. Tatnall, beautiful move on the inside of one and two. Brock Tatnall. Showing that the next five time Australian champion has lost nothing. Doing it beautifully in the T77 for Dobson Motorsport. Oldfield leads the way. Tatnall up into second spot over Sanders. Then we go back to Steve Lines and Brock Allen. He's under pressure. He's got Brad Dobson for company. Up the second spot. But it's all. Blue Goldfield. Sweets are on the bottom side, he'll get the win in hit race number five. Justin Sanders hangs on to second over Brooke Tatnell and Steve Lines. Matt Dumsney, Brock Hell and Adam Butler. Jack Bell will be the next one in the queue from Toddy Hobson, Randy Morgan, Tali Rappelt and Nathan Pronger. Ladies and gentlemen, from green to checker, make some noise for Lightning, Luke Oldfield. Yeah, unfortunately, the first heat we had the rock cover gasket split, and then that sort of gave me less laps. I, I fell on top, and just a bit bad. But um, second heat didn't do too bad. Still was airing too shallow. I need a standy flick it in. So what that means, you got to sort of turn right down the straight and open the arc up. I should know better than that. I've done that at Putnamville. I've done that many places, but not in a wing car. So I still get my head around that, and I shouldn't be too bad. We went forward three spots since. So that's pretty good. Take as it comes and. See where we are on the beat. Chrissy Mack holds it up high and they are beautiful, Trev, once again from the guys at M1 Trophies. Yeah, never fail to amaze, do they? What are you looking? Fantastic guys. And it looks like Carlo Miolo, unfortunately, will be a yeah, problems, non star. Problems for, uh, and Chase, Chase Randall. Randall. Whatever that problem was, they haven't fixed it. Well, I believe they changed the mag box and the mag, or, or the mag in it, and doesn't look like it has rectified that problem. Oh, what a shame for this young kid, 18 years of age from Waco, Texas. The Easy Print Ultra Shield Cool Freighters number nine machine from the USA. For, uh, for the rest of the competitors behind? Certainly will, yeah. Did require a second push, as Brady yeah. said, so he does go to the back. Yeah, we are push. set to go, Brisbane. 20 laps of journey. We'll share this one, Trev. They'll squeeze the pedal a little harder as they come through. Four, let's go racing. Salah gets the jump on the inside of Dukas. Dukas to the top side. Plenty of momentum. One up near the fence. Prosser. And, Prosser. and over. Young Taylor Prosser got up over the cushion. The car bounced. Got into the fence and turned on its side. And I think uh, Chase has pulled the nine machine off, has he? Or is he? Must have, he's not out there. Yeah, I can't actually see it, no. So we are set to go. 20 laps of the journey. Take number two. Let's hope everybody gets through this time nice and clean as they fight for real estate and the elbows go up one more time. Sala gets a much better jump this time. Dukas and Cracksman arguing over second and third. Down through one and two. Sammy Walsh 
has pulled the Atlantic Oil 92 machine on the infield and out of this one. Obviously problems for him, so let's hope that uh, they can get their rectified for the weekend. But Michael Seller continues to lead. The 56 machine out of New South Wales. Doing the job at the moment. Dukas a little sideways out of four. Gets it back under control. Kratzman sitting in third. Young Jack Bell is the man on the pressure spot. He is the man on the bump. Morgan on the outside trying to find a way in. He needs to get the 16 Queensland Speedway spares. Driven Oils machine back into fifth. Then we go back to Cody O'Connell, Adam Butler. There's Toddy Hobson followed by Jackson Delamont, Trent Barty, Carl Hoffman. Then we go back to Tony. Sprint car, uh, this thing runs 16, so it's different setups, uh, doing different stuff with torque curves and all that sort of stuff with fueling. Um, but pretty much what I'm doing at the moment is clean them up. Uh, so essentially, I'm, we use, I've been using contact clean, which is probably a little bit harsh, but it's all I have here at the moment. CLC, we're penetrating oil, loops penetrating oil, um, or any degrees that you can use to get them all cleaned up. Most ideal option is uh, an ultrasonic bath, but I have access to that on the roads, so it's the next best thing. So, pretty much just spray some in, spray some in the hole, spray some in the end. Pick up our air. Make sure we don't get any in our eye. Let me check if we can see through it. Um, see daylight, so we can with that one, so that's nice and clean. Struggling a little keeping them clean at the moment, but we've got that all fixed up in the fuel system. Um, yeah, next one for us, so in our B main last night, really hustle, I thought they might be going, but I don't think there is, I think it was all a bit in my head with these blocks my foot here, we have to run here, and a bit of tie shake, probably as well, just after what happened in the heat race with the, this rocket cover gas hit here split, um, I was a little, a little timid, but uh, that's, lucky we've got two more nights to show we can do, we have great speed in the B, probably on route to transfer, but yeah. Double check everything, make sure it's all good and see Friday. 